Hello Gear Slats, my name is Stefan from Aqua Electrics. I want to introduce you in two of our new modules we, we did now. One is the state variable filter, the dual state variable filter as we hear now. And this filter is uh, uh, made of two separate filters, they are completely identical. They can be switched into parallel mode or into serial mode. In parallel mode it's uh, mean to be kind of stereo mode. All the inputs, the audio inputs and the CV inputs are normalized from filter A to filter B. And you get uh, four filter outputs simultaneously of any filter. Uh, you get a low pass output, you got a high pass output, you got a band pass output. And what's interesting, as you may know from the Oberheim SEM module, um, there's a, the notch output, which is basically a crossfade between high pass and low pass, which you can do with that knob. So if that knob is on low pass, it's low pass. If it's on uh, 12 o'clock, it's a uh, notch. And if it's uh, completely clockwise, it's a high pass filter. And now let's try to make some interesting sound here out of it. So now the filters are switched in serial mode. You got some resonance here. Open the cutoff a little bit. And now you got, for example, a kind of uh, band pass filter with selectable band width. Because you can uh, do an offset between two, both cutoffs from both filters and control them together anyway. All the CV inputs. Uh, uh, you can scale the filters and then control both of them with one Exactly, exactly. So we got an interesting uh, fovel like uh, for month sounds. You can, uh, both filters uh, can track nearly exact uh, 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 volt by tap, so you can uh, play them with the unself resonance, for example. Input, uh, it's uh, 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 going to uh, up to the water, which means that uh, you can use the LFO, for example, um, you can, because they are normalized, those inputs, you, can, uh, you set, you set uh, up to the water like that, for example, like you see here. Then uh, one filter will be modulated down, while the other filter will be modulated up and vice versa. If, if in serial mode, you can also switch to band pass. That means that you take the band pass signal from the first filter for go, uh, before it goes in the second Very filter. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, you can do endless uh, combinations of uh, yeah, you can, uh, of settings, and you get a uh, lot of different sounds. Very different sounding sounds. The filter is uh, made in a very high quality technique, so it's uh, usually uh, more nice quality than, uh, for example, OTA based uh, state variable filters or something. Right, right. For the for the nerds. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Uh, you made it by hand. I made it by hand. Yeah. Yes, uh, it's completely uh, made in Berlin. So yeah. It's basically SMD because it's quite packaged, packed, uh, the PC board, so it's SMD. Well, it's not, uh, yeah, the delay module is another interesting module, it's similar to the filter. It's consisting of two delays in one module, so you get uh, delay A, delay B. Like the filter, you can. Uh, you can switch them in uh, parallel mode or in serial mode. If in parallel mode, it's interesting that you uh, don't, both delays have its own feedback path. You can um, switch it to cross feedback. Then uh, you will have kind of alternating echoes between both filters, kind of ping pong. Okay, so you can combine the two filters, the two delays. Yes. Can, uh, kind of, uh, was basically uh, the signal that's going uh, in the feedback box basically describing an eight pattern. Yeah? So it's like going.
going from here to there and going from there to here again. So that makes you, that, uh, that lets you create nice uh, ping pong delay patterns. The, the delay time can be very short. The delay is not so much thought to be an ordinary delay as you use it for echo in your productions and stuff. You can use it that way, of course, but then you should uh, set up your own dry, wet path if you don't put it in an in a aux uh, path. And it's more thought to be a space-creating device, especially combined with other modules or other delays, other spatial stuff, phases, whatever. Yeah, we basically we, we made uh, four new modules and the filter, also the dual filter and the dual delay are two of them. The other two are the QLFO, which is basically just a quadrature LFO, uh, providing you a sine wave and uh, three shifted uh, b uh, copies of it by 90 degrees shifted copies. So you got a sine, a cosine, an inverted sine, an inverted cosine, basically. Yeah. That's very interesting for, especially if, uh, if you control uh, the dual filter or the dual delay in the parallel mode. But not only, of course, but especially then, you can uh, create very nice uh, stereo image uh, uh, movements and uh, panning modulations. Also with the delay, it's very interesting to modulate the delay times. Um, as we can m maybe hear now, uh, if we open it now, then we patch now one delay, we'll get now a CV. Now the LFO is con uh, modulating the delay time. modulated up the audio rate, no problem. And make very grainy, weird sounds.
Yes, this envelope generator, this was the first module we started to uh, produce in a, uh, in a higher number. We started basically this module here, which is a kind of mini MOOC clone filter, is uh, our first module, but this is out of production, so we don't do that anymore. There will be uh, another version of that one, also with voltage controlled resonance, but I cannot tell when, because uh, it's another, there are a lot of other modules in the pipeline, uh, which uh, will come first, for sure. So, yeah, this, the, <coughs> the triple envelope generator was the first module we produced in a higher number, and this is still available. This is basically uh, built after the envelope from the Roland 100M modular system because it's a very, very punchy, very uh, short uh, envelope. So you can make very punchy stuff with that. For percussion, yes. Of course, you also can uh, switch, uh, switch the envelope uh, uh, in a long mode. Then the, the, then the times will be magnified by a certain factor, so it's becoming longer. So the last module, which is number four of our four new modules here, is the MS Matrix, which is basically a simple module, but a very interesting one. What it does, it's basically a module for manipulating stereo signals, but you can also use it for other things. Um, it's converting a left-right stereo signal to its mid-side components. You see it here. We got here left input, the right input. I now use it as a mixer here. I kind of use it in a <laughs> for something else. So you got a mid-output here, which is basically the sum of left and right. right. And you got a side output here, which is basically the difference of left and right. Yeah. So it's kind of the stereo component of the signal. So if there will be a mono signal multi uh, multiplied uh, or mu multiplied going here into left and right, there will be no signal here right. if, if you set them to the both uh, to the same level. So and also it converting uh, the mid side signal back to uh, to a left right signal. Oh, so, okay. so it's, uh, it's both ways. Uh, yeah, it's both ways. So you could make it like that that you patch it that way. It's the easiest. We didn't, we didn't do an internal normalizing because we thought it's uh, mostly yeah. interesting if you put something in, into, in between, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. A processor or yes, a yes. Or a filter on the side path to eliminate the stereo information in the base or something like that. Yes, of course. You can, you can whatever you like. You can, uh, you can insert here, or you can use it even in an unconventional way if you understand how this technically, uh, how this is technically done, yeah. the conversion. Then you also will get other ideas how, how to use it. Okay. There is no severe control of anything because it's just a pure audio matrix. manipulation yeah. thing matrix. Yes, yes. Okay. yes. Yes, right. We also we also planning just to, to mention that we are also planning to make a special version of the MS Matrix uh, for API 500 uh, uh, racks for studio use. Yes. Yes, exactly. Because it might be interesting as well. Of course, uh, you will find your way of your creative, yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> okay. uh, very nice. Uh, the, the prices of the module is always important. Uh, the price is not yet uh, completely certain, but uh, can be seen um, at the uh, at Schneider's Laden, for example, in Berlin. And yes, uh, so you should look forward for this module. Um, you mean when when it will be released? 
Yeah, when it will be released and what sort of price bracket? Uh... All right, uh, the filter will be around, uh, I guess, 650 something. Yeah. Will be available in one month around, yeah. more or less. Um, the delay maybe will take a little bit longer because we had to do some changes, uh, which took a little bit time. And uh, yeah, uh, but the QLFO and the MS Matrix uh, will be available together with the filter. Yeah, as I said, I guess in one month it will be it will be available. Yeah. Very nice. I'm Michael Berlin. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Too.